The sub Sally is interesting Korean shaggy coated dog with very loyal, friendly, playful and patient temperament. In this video I will tell you all the important facts and information about sub Sally dog. I would love to thank Christine, Mello and Luna for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Subsali dog breed and you would love to see more of them, definitely check out their Instagram profiles. Quick quiz before the video, which one of these is a common nickname of Subsali dog breed? A. Monkey dog, B. Ghost dog or C. Gentleman dog? Watch the video and find out the correct answer. Sub Sally is a medium sized dog breed with body slightly longer than tall. They are pretty muscular, especially the upper body part is very strong and bulky and they have big paws too. The average height of the Sub Sally is between 19 to 23 inches which is 48 to 58 centimeters and weight between 35 to 60 pounds which is 15 to 28 kilograms. For me, the Subsale resembles the old English sheepdog quite a lot. It's mostly thanks to their shaggy coat. The long dense coat can be either wavy or straight and you can find Subsale in various colors including black, red, yellow, gray, blue and brown. They have long hair on their face which can fall over their brown large round eyes so you can see them. This is a really friendly and loyal breed. They truly love their family and they tend to create strong bond with them. Thanks to their big patience, they are also good companions for children. They typically do not have problems with other dogs in the family as well and they tend to be very playful. It is true that they are friendly and loyal, but they are also quite protective. They are alert and cautious towards strangers, but don't worry, if you will show them that the newcomer is your friend, they will accept him quickly. This is a strong dog and even though they only rarely start a fight, they almost never run away from it. This is highly intelligent dog breed who wants to please their owners, that is why they respond well to training. If we combine this with their gentle temperament, this is a great adapt for therapy dog. There are few common nicknames for Subsali dog. The first one is a lion dog. They are called like that because of their strong upper body, big paws and fluffy coat. The other nicknames are more interesting because they are commonly nicknamed as ghost dog, exercising dog or ghost hunting clever dog. Are you interested why they are nicknamed by these mysterious names? Then you must learn about the breed's history. Let's jump into it. The history of Subsali dog breed is rather unknown and mysterious. The first documentation about this breed is from the Free Kingdom period which lasted from 37 BC to 668 AD. Sadly, we have no idea what are the ancestors of this breed, but they most likely developed from other local Korean breeds. Through, through their history, the Subsali was used as military dogs but also as amazing companions. They were considered good luck charms and it was believed that they will protect people from evil spirits. In fact, the meaning of Subsali is putting away bad luck or the one that roots out evil spirits, which explains their nicknames we mentioned earlier in this video. There was a dark time in the Subsali history and it was during the first half of the 20th century when the Japan occupied Korean peninsula. During that time Subsali dogs were slaughtered by Japanese army in order to make coats for the invading soldiers. It is believed that in the 1980s there was only 8 Subsali remaining but due to the careful breeding the breed was saved. Today it is estimated that we have around 3000 registered Subsalis. The lifespan of Subsali is between 10 to 12 years. They do suffer from some health issues, most commonly from hip dysplasia, patella luxation and congenital heart defect. Not so commonly from bloating, entropion or cherry eye. If you want your dog to stay healthy and happy, you must regularly exercise him. The Subsali is not totally hyperactive, but on the other hand, it's also not a couch potato. Since they were never bred for work like herding or hunting, they do not have extreme exercise needs. Regular daily longer walks are enough. Subsali do shed and if you want to minimize the shedding, you should regularly brush their coat. By regular brushing, you will also prevent tangling and matting. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check their eyes, ears and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Subsali dog breed and what is your experience with them. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.